doing the album a couple of years ago now at this point and I went on Big Brother and I came home and I rewrote some stuff and I wrote some new stuff and I was like yeah this is gonna be great so had some stuff already recorded before I left and listened back to everything I was like oh, I'm just gonna change some stuff up and it's, it's been a wild adventure there's definitely like a lot of heart a lot of Love, blood and tears <laughs> on the album and uh, which is a big reason why I called it out for blood was because that was the mindset at the time of just like, you know putting everything aside no fear just go ahead and conquering this is something I've been wanting to do for uh, um, probably over a decade now but I've been obviously involved in different bands and different musical projects and it was time to put that to the side and focus on what I really wanted to do musically and, and now we're here so and was this like a dream of yours for a long time to like do like a solo project? Absolutely I, and I've had the pleasure of working and writing with some really amazing musicians there's no question about that but it was it, it was time for me to you know really kind of spread my own wings so to speak and and do my own thing and, and you know, work with some incredible musicians and, and, and get it going. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's good. And um, your bandmates, they like held you down while you were on Big Brother for like three months. They How did. I was, um, I, I, I'm really lucky, that, especially to have Aaron and Josette. They're two very important people in my life. I mean, they're family. Really. You guys are family. I love you so much. And they did they absolutely held me down when I was gone. Uh, we did have uh, a different drummer at the time, mm -hmm. and he just different things happened to him in his life. He was being very successful, something outside of music, and and uh, yeah, I love John. He's he's absolutely the best. So, you know, when I came back, you know, we, we talked about a couple things, and he made a great decision for himself, and you know, fully supported him. I just need to have someone around, you know, a bit more, and and uh, I, I think we have that right person. So, but but Josette and Aaron, they absolutely held me down, and they were. Yeah, you know, I was I was out of commission there for for three months, and uh, it's wild to be cut off from the outside world for for three months and and leave behind all your music, cancel all your recording sessions. I didn't even have a chance to cancel any of the stuff. I didn't really think I was going to end up on the show. Everything happened so fast, and so it was like, oh my god. Uh, but it was great. They did hold me down, and I'm so grateful for them, and they're my family. No question about it. And let's talk about the band itself. Like your sound is more like a mix between. Um, punk and metal. Yeah. Um, what is it like doing something a little um, different outside of uh, what you usually would do? Like well, it's a lot of fun. You know, I like incorporating you know different melodies here, but I like I, I, I love the art of raw, if you will. Yeah. Uh, there's you know there's there's certain uh, I, I would say you know bands, musicians, artists 
that really like to process that their art is to process things very much so I just I just love striking a raw nerve with with my music and, and, and that works for me and you know when I was a little kid I was I was listening to Agnostic Front Crow Mags mm -hmm. and uh, and some of their earlier stuff obviously it's hardcore but some of it had it was that punk rock attitude uh, it was that punk rock attitude of uh, you know, I don't give a fuck you know, and even being a grown-up woman now is like I still have that same attitude, and it certainly showcases itself in my music. But there's, you know, there's more tender moments in some of the songs. There's more doomier moments. There's more, you know, metal as fuck moments in there. I try to sneak them in, but uh, I'm really proud of, of this particular release. I think, I think the new stuff that I've written that no one's really heard yet other than say Josette and Aaron. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's developing and growing but it still has that that rawness to it. So it's like a more mature record for you. Uh, Out for Blood is it is I would say a really great introduction of Blue Gen CDs hands down. I, I'm so proud of the album. It showcases a lot of different sides of, of my writing styles and there's much more to come. Definitely much more to come. We do plan on touring this year, probably more towards the end of like fall. We do have other shows that we haven't announced yet after the show. We'll have some more New York City stuff. Uh, we'll definitely be traveling a bit, um, probably late summer, early fall. Uh, where do you plan to go? You know, we'll probably head down like to Washington DC, Maryland, um, North, South Carolina, maybe down even to Georgia, Florida. I've been asking uh, about the group. And we just want to do something that makes sense, uh, booking wise and of course financially. So, oh, yeah. you know, we got to factor that in. You know, the money doesn't just fall out of the sky. <laughs> but uh, I think you're going to, uh, in the next short weeks, They'll be will we'll be featured on, on different radio stations and radio play, oh, awesome. and I think that's going to help dictate where we will be traveling. But if it's up to me, we'll probably go from everywhere from Ohio down to Florida and, and see see what works. You know, the East Coast. You know, we uh, love the East Coast, but I would love to get out to the West Coast. I ain't gonna lie, that, that would be a really great time. But <laughs> we'll we'll see. Definitely want to. We're going to sneak in some small small touring this year. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about um, the band's influences. Like who inspired you? What, um, what artists helped you develop your sound? Sure. Uh, you know, uh, and, and it's interesting in Gen City, I actually play guitar, and mm -hmm. of course I sing. And, uh, you know, obviously in, in different bands, I've always been the, the bass player for sure. And I did play bass on, on, you know, a track on the album, but I really wanted to dive more into songwriting aspects more than anything. And I would say, you know, older Metallica had a big influence on me. Like I mentioned, you know, uh, uh, Gnostic Front, cro Earlier Biohazard, and uh, Man Slayer, when I first heard that, I was like, holy smokes, Exodus. Uh, Violence was a group that I really enjoyed. A Motorhead was a big influence on me because Lemmy has always had that fuck you attitude exactly. as well. And uh, I just naturally really gravitated towards that. And Cliff Burton, when I was young, was my favorite bass player. And I just, I, I thought he had a lot of melody in his playing besides just being an unbelievable bass player. He, he I felt, he, his, his playing spoke to me. And uh, that actually had an influence on my songwriting. Of course, Metallica, you know, James Hetfield is an incredible mm -hmm. songwriter. Uh, bands like Life of Agony had a big effect on me too. Mm -hmm. Growing up and seeing them, and it was just, it was so emotional, so powerful. It, 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 it just 
really that spoke to me as well. They're a big influence in, in what I do. And then I love I love different you know rock stuff like Led Zeppelin and listening to them when I was a kid. Jimi Hendrix was just like oh, awesome. blew my mind, you know. Yes. And you know my father is a big music collector. I mean he's probably has about eight thousand pieces of vinyls, no joke. Wow. So I had the pleasure of growing up listening to a lot of different stuff like the Georgia Satellites, uh, a lot of salsa, merengue. Mm -hmm. uh, he listened, he had such a wide array of, of music that I would just, my favorite was just sitting down with my headphones and just kind of getting lost and listening to a lot of different things. Both, both my dad and mom are, are really big time music lovers and and my, even my older cousin, uh, him and his friends, they love suicidal tendencies. When I would go down yeah. to Puerto Rico, suicidal tendencies, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, they introduced me to all of that really early on to where I was like, maybe I was blown away. I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. And when I went to one of my first shows, I was like, oh my God, that's what I want to do. There's no question that's what I want to do. So, and here we are. <laughs>